One of the eighth grade science teachers here at Clifton Middle School is Samantha Gray, and we caught her doing yet another project here on Thursday. Samantha, how important and how interested are the students when they first walk in this class? This is one of the most challenging probably in the school, isn't it? Well, eighth graders are interesting just because of the age group that they are going into high school next year. Sometimes they're interested and sometimes you just don't know what they're going to be like that day, but that's all about hormones. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like there's a number of projects here. What, what are we looking at here in the classroom? Okay, so they worked on a couple of different projects. So one is they could create a 3D diorama on the electromagnetic spectrum on how the different types of radiation affect Earth. Or they could have created brochures about color blindness. So we did talk about the electromagnetic spectrum also with how we see light and how some are not able to see color. So they had to come up with some sort of design to help aid colorblind people to see color. Wow. And then we also here, we're incubating chickens and guineas. So we have an incubator with 22 eggs in it, four guineas and 18 chickens. So guineas take four weeks and chickens take three weeks. So they should be hatching around March 11th. And then they also, since it's February, it's Black History Month. So they worked in groups in class and chose a African-American scientist to research and present to the class. And who made a difference, obviously. Yes. Okay. And those who were like the first African-American woman to go into, ash to go into space to be an astronaut, a bunch of different things. Those who were like the first to get a PhD. And okay. So, yeah. And of those topics that you cover, what do you consider is the most difficult to either teach or get across to your students? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of eighth grade science is stuff that you can't really see, especially when we talk about chemistry, because it's so minute. And even like these waves, electromagnetic waves, the only thing you can see is visible light. The every, everything else you can't see, so it's like trying to teach them something they can't physically see. It's like, how, how are you able to do this? I, I, I'm, the only thing I learned about the light spectrum, I, I think one of us had a prism and we thought that was amazing. We did stuff at prisms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is a, a preparatory course for high school and what, what comes after Eighth grade science, in ninth grade, uh, what do you call it? They usually go into either earth science or um, biology. But this here is mainly like chemistry and physics, and that's not always required at the high school. Those are if you choose to, because most people don't take that unless they're going to go into college and study science. So every student does a project or two during your class? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, we caught you off guard. But uh, it's a very interesting set of uh, displays and projects here, and we certainly appreciate you speaking with us. All right, thank you. <laughs> you did.